Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tashima and today's video is going to be how to survive living with an expecting mother. Five tips to keep the peace. So today I want to start a series really catered to the men, helping them how to cope with living with a pregnant woman. So a lot of times mothers, women, we get a lot of support on, you know, what to expect as far as our body and our emotions and all of that. But this is going to be for the men what to expect when she is expected. So let's get right into it. So my first tip, number one, is don't eat the last of anything. <laughs> Especially if you know that the pregnant woman in your life really enjoys that food. There is nothing worse than coming home like after a long day at work, or an outing or whatever, coming home really craving something and walking in there and it's not there. Like, it's so terrible. Women, pregnant women are dealing with a lot of hormones and, and you know, we're dealing with the cravings and all of that. So if we have our mouth or our heart set on something and then it's not there, it's such a letdown. So don't eat the last of it, please. <laughs> or tears will ensue, okay? Number two, do not leave the toilet seat up, especially at night. As a pregnant woman, you're using the bathroom throughout the day a lot and so sometimes you go in there you don't even check to see if the toilet seat is down especially if it's nighttime maybe the pregnant mother is not getting up and turning the light on she's just going in there to go pee and getting back in the bed trying to keep herself asleep but there's nothing worse than sitting down on a cold wet toilet bowl please please put the toilet seat down if you are a man sharing your living space with a pregnant woman i promise you it will make everybody's life way more easier okay so tip number three is if the expectant mother sends you out to go get food do get the exact right thing in the right amount in the right size and i emphasize this because craving pregnancy cravings are real okay they're real we cannot control them. The baby wants what the baby wants and it needs to be satisfied, okay? So I remember when I was pregnant, now my family, friends, they, anyone who's close to me knows that I love the Reese's miniatures. Not the big Reese's, not Reese's pieces, not Reese's sticks, Reese's miniatures with the black and the gold foil, okay? That's the only kind I really like. I can eat the other ones. I can eat the big ones, but that's the kind I like. So. If somebody sends you out to get something, please get the right thing, okay? And sometimes men are maybe don't pay as much attention to detail. So I remember one time I sent my dad and my brother out to get me, I think it was pistachios. They come back with almonds. And what do you think happened? I cried. <laughs> because my mouth wanted pistachios. Almonds are not pistachios and it just threw off my whole day. So I just sent all that to say this, that if she sends you out to get something, please make sure it's the right thing. If you gotta take a note, if you gotta take a picture, if you gotta text, call, whatever, look, is this it? You know, don't waste your money because if it's not the right thing, she's probably not gonna wanna eat it. I'm sorry. So make sure you get the right thing in the right amount. So I know sometimes things come in different sizes. Like for example, with the Reese's again, they come in the small bags and they also come and the um like the party size bag and they come in the family size bag make sure you get the right amount of whatever it is that she sends you out to go get. number four is do not say she is being too emotional or don't say is that the hormones talking mm -mm 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 -mm. please don't please don't say that of course it's the hormones talking <laughs> but it is a little bit annoying to be reminded that or it's a little bit annoying for our feelings to be dismissed. Like everything we're complaining about or we're upset about is because of the hormones or the baby. It may or may not be true, but she's pregnant and she's dealing with a new life and a new experience. So please just try to have a little bit of compassion and please don't say is it the hormones because it is the hormones. Just be nice to us, okay? <laughs> My tip number five for this video is if you are ordering food for yourself or if you're going out to eat or whatever, do bring back some food or do ask if she wants something or do ask, can I get you anything? Like, so if it's around dinner time and you're thinking about ordering something for yourself, ask her but also be aware of food aversions i know for me i had a lot of food aversions with all my pregnancies and it really differed so you know the pregnant lady in your life so just talk to her about it see because something that she may have liked a month ago she may totally be hating now and it is all because you know taste buds are changing your body is changing everything like that so ask her what it is that she would like to eat for dinner don't get your feelings hurt if she sends you out for something and then by the time you come back or by the time the food gets there, you don't want it anymore. Or her taste buds have changed or whatever. It's just 
we can't control these things okay it's the baby we have to blame it on the baby so yes always offer to order her something or to buy her some dinner or some lunch or whatever it may be if you're ordering food for yourself but be aware of food aversions because they are real they do exist and everything does not taste the same when you're pregnant as it does when you're not pregnant okay so those are my five tips for this video but all jokes aside just be kind be generous be patient be considerate and be helpful pregnancy can be a scary time especially if it's the first time mother because everything is so new it's so different she's dealing with hormonal things she's dealing with physical things she may be suffering like i said from food aversions things that she used to love don't taste right things that she used to love to smell don't smell right so just try to be compassionate she is going through a lot of changes in her body and she cannot control them pretty much none of them at all so as the men in our lives we really need you to be there and be as supportive as you can be help us when we're having those crying fits talk us down off the ledge so to speak just make us feel better like it's okay you're gonna make it through this what can i do for you do you need a massage this that and another just try to be as compassionate as you can because she's carrying this life she's growing this life and she may not be feeling like herself so anything that you can do to help her and support her physically mentally emotionally try your very best i know it can be a bit frustrating living with a pregnant woman but if you try to stay cool calm and collected your energy will rub off on her and everything will be as peaceable as it can be that's all i have for this video i also want to remind you of my gofundme and i do want to thank demetrius buckner for his donation that he just recently made this week i definitely appreciate it don't forget i'll link down in the description box my merchandise melanin activated you can buy that on their website teespring i have hoodies i have shirts for men women and even even kids toddler sizes so you can go and check that out if you would like to and my pop-up yeah. shop is coming soon on september 7th so i have everything linked down below you can check out my facebook and my instagram for the latest updates on that and that's all i have for today thank you so much for watching and don't forget to let your story be your power and i'll see you in my next video Bye.